So, they found bank records for Mr. Biden. Can't say that anybody should be surprised that now we're hearing about bank records when many of us already knew that these bank records existed long before 2020 came around. But the GOP is now doing their so-called investigation into the business dealings of Mr. Biden and his son and his brother. They say they're going to subpoena people if they don't appear on their own volition. But like usual, all they do is say. If I can give the Democrats any props, it'd be this. At least they, when it comes to the certain things, will follow through on their word. If they say we're going to make sure that you pay the price for something, when it's against them, they will make sure you pay the price. As opposed to the Republicans, when they're wronged, they act like if nothing happened. Mostly because they're probably getting a piece of the pie and they don't want to upset the upper card. But I digress. With the information coming out about not just 2 million here, 5 million here, 142,000 here, a couple of dollars there, the pay for play, the fact that Joe Biden was vice president and over a lot of the overseas negotiations where his son had business. If you just look at things on the surface, you would understand that there is way more to look into, just look into for Mr. Biden than there is for Trump. Will it get looked into? No. Will anything be done? No. Will Joe Biden face any consequences for anything he's done? No. Will Hunter? No. Will any political person pay any price for the things they've done? No. Why? Because the people that are prosecuting them have something on them that they can't let you see. Every one of the people that's talking right now about what they're going to do for America can't do anything because they have dirt. And somebody out there knows it. They can't afford to have that blown off. So they can act as though on grandstand, but nothing's going to take place. Here's the problem. We have put ourselves behind the eight ball by the way we've allowed things to go. Either by our stupid voting habits or by our silence. We are now at a very sharp turn and at the edge of a very high precipice. One wrong step and everything collapses. The problem is we also have a bunch of people pushing us from the back and a car that's careening down the hill while we're at that curb. We have very little time to make the next step and we have very little room for error. Joe Biden's a corrupt individual. He's been corrupt since his very early days in politics. 80% of Congress and the House and the Senate, all of them are corrupt. They've all made business deals with somebody to benefit. The only place one can turn to outside of God is a mental shift from depending on people. You have to decide one thing and one thing only. Is the person I'm about to pencil in someone I've researched or is it because they just have a letter I like next to their name? Have I done my due diligence to look into that person and see who they've affiliated themselves with, what their history is and what they're worth? If you don't do that, you might as well vote blindly. But as for the GOP doing any sort of investigation that yields anything, I wouldn't hang my hat on that, people. Joe Biden ain't going anywhere. We're stuck with him. And I still don't think 2024 will happen. But that's just me. You have your own decisions to make. As far as I can see, though, the corruption is way too deep for us to bank on the GOP or any independent firm bringing any charges whatsoever against the upper ups in this corrupt system. It is up to us to vote and act differently. Until then, we deal with the consequences. <laughs>